The Foolish Disciples There once was a guru who had many students who lived with him. One day, the guru took them all for an outing in a bullock cart. The guru, being old, was tired. Students, I'm feeling very tired and would like to take rest. Be very careful and keep a watch so that our things may not slip out of the cart. Yes, sir. After a few minutes, the cart bumped into a stone, shaking the cart. The Guru's kamandalam, a small vessel to hold holy water, fell out of the cart. All the students watched it fall down. After a little while, the Guru woke up. Students, is everything fine? Are all our things safe? Yes, sir. Only your kamandalam fell out of the cart. What? My kamandalam fell down? Why did you not pick it up? How will I carry water now? But, sir, you only asked us to watch the things falling off the cart, not pick them up. Oh, fools! What I meant by watch was that you should take care that nothing falls off the cart. Next time onwards, pick up everything that falls out and put it back into the cart. Is that understood? Yes, sir. The bullock cart moved on. The guru dozed. A little while later, the bullocks dropped some dung on the ground. On seeing that, one of the students jumped down, picked up the dung, rolled it up and threw it into the cart. The huge ball of dung landed right on the Guru's face, waking him up with a shock. The Guru shouted, What on earth is this? Sir, why are you cross with us? We only obeyed you by picking up everything that fell on the ground and putting it back into the cart. Oh, my God! Can you not understand even simple things? The Guru was silent and thought for a while. He then came up with a very good idea. He listed out all the things in the cart and gave the list to the students, saying, Look, children, if any of the articles given in the list slips down, you must pick them up. They moved on and the Guru once again fell asleep. The students, too, were dozing. The bullocks now started climbing up a hill. As they went up, the sleeping Guru slid down the cart and fell into the stream which was running by the side of the road. The sound of the big splash woke the students. The Guru was shouting, Help! Help! They jumped down the cart. They then remembered what the Guru had said and quickly took out the list and searched for the Guru's name. However, they could not find it. So they moved on. Stop! Stop! I am drowning! Save me! I am your Guru! The students were good and loved their guru. They rushed to him and saved him. The guru shouted in anger, Why did you not pick me up? Save me! But, sir, we only obeyed you. Your name is not on the list, and you had asked us only to pick up those things which were in the list and nothing else. Obeyed me? How can you say that? You have not even tried to understand what I have been trying to tell you. Instead, without even thinking, you have just been following my words. <laughs>